Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Jenny with Budget Determined and today, um, I know normally I post a video on Monday but we've had some things happen this week and we're trying to kind of get back into, I'm trying to refigure out my schedule just because my kids are coming off of their winter holiday vacation and that has definitely, um, challenged my videoing just because my office is in a pretty public area of the house and uh, <clears throat> only one of my kids and my husband is aware that I even have this channel. Nobody else is aware. Um, I'm contemplating telling them but I haven't gotten to be there yet. I kind of started this channel without telling everybody other than my husband just because I wanted to grow it from the ground up. Um, myself. I don't know. It's just kind of important to me. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it that way or not, but you know, we're going to figure it out. <clears throat> so anyways, we already got paid for, <clears throat> excuse me, my husband got his main paycheck for January. I almost said December. Oh my goodness. You guys, it's 2023 now. It's crazy. And, um, he got his paycheck for his main job, which is paid monthly, and then he got his first paycheck for the month from his part-time job, which is paid bi-weekly. So we're going to kind of jump in here, and I'll show you a little bit about how I'm doing my budget this year with my new budget tracker. This is one that I designed. I wanted one that was cash budget friendly with the envelopes and everything. Um, it doesn't have to be that way, just more of with sinking funds. You can do this with um, bank accounts or you can do it with envelopes, however you prefer to do it. But it's a 13 week, uh, not 13 week, but 13 paycheck financial planner. So you can use it whether you have a monthly budget, a bi-weekly paycheck, a weekly paycheck, etc. It doesn't matter. It'll work for anything. It's undated, so it's kind of customizable for you. So we're going to jump in and uh, count the money that I have because I kind of have to <laughs> um, figure out a little bit here. I'm going to let you be with me as I sort out my a little bit of chaos so I put in our financial goals for the year here the date we started the book technically speaking the paycheck came on the 30th of December just because of when the first fell it was on a weekend so got the paychecks the week before and then going off of what we're saving for this is what I hope to save by the time that I have completed this book so we're saving for the deck, I want to have $1,800 by the time I'm done with this book saved for the deck. Cross the fingers, it's it's a lot. Um, $850 for a recliner. I am <clears throat> a chronic illness warrior and a spoonie. I have rheumatoid arthritis and fibromyalgia, among some other things. And um, I am not able to work a conventional job. And I just came off of a six-week flare-up where I could almost not walk at all. I had to get a cane. And... Um, I have very aggressive rheumatoid arthritis. So trying to plan for the future and set things up to help pain management, etc., especially when I'm in a long-term flare-up like what I just had. Um, then I want to save $600 to put into our food stock up fund. We buy meat in bulk. We live in a community where we can buy half a pig or a whole pig at a time, or we can buy half a beef, whole beef, whole chickens and stuff. And we buy them locally from farm raised and we get a really good price and it's high quality meat. We stock up on that, um, a couple times a year and we very rarely buy any meat from the actual grocery store. Um, then my husband has a quad that we we use it to bring in side hustle money during the summertime um, quite a bit, but I really want to tackle that debt. We have, I oh, what was the debt on that one? I have it written down. Here we go. We owe $7,597 on it. And so I'm hoping to pay an extra $480 towards it by the time that this book is done. 
Mind you, our priority is to build the sinking funds to $5,000. I don't know what taxes are going to look like this year, but I'm kind of hoping that between that and selling some items in our house, um, that we can make some good progress there. Hoping. So we kind of ran our budget similar to how we were last year as far as the budgeting. Um, wrote down what I expected. We wrote down the actual. So my husband got some overtime from his new job um, and he also had holiday pay. So his paycheck was more than what we expected and so was his first paycheck from his part-time job. Um, we put $50 towards our emergency fund to build that up to the 5,000. And then you show, shows the remaining here. We've already paid all the bills. We've paid the debt. Now the debt is not covered by my husband's paycheck. Um, unless his paycheck is over what we expect. If we have extra on top of our bare minimum stuff, um, even though our debt minimum payments are kind of bare minimum, but we have to save up money from side hustle to cover our debt payments. That's why we, it's really crucial for us to get our debt gone because we really can't afford it right now with me not being able to work a conventional job and being able to bring in the income that I, that I used to. Um, I can, however, make every dollar count and work on maintaining our house as I can here and there um, to the best of my ability and that's I have to consider that a victory and I have to consider that enough. Um, we budgeted 400 for groceries, 300 for gas, um, 23 for miscellaneous because we were expecting less. We actually ended up putting $50 in the miscellaneous fund. Um, we budgeted 40 for pets and we're actually going to put $50 in the pet envelope. My husband uh, got his hunting and fishing license and that was $45 and then we had to re-up our meds and normally that would come out of our medical um, envelope but I only had $10 in there and so I would, decided to leave the $10, I believe it was $10 in there, um, and just cover that with this paycheck since it was a little bit higher than what was originally expected. We are going to be taking care of these today, putting money towards the sinking funds and savings challenges. And so let's count up the money that we have left. I did have to go do some shopping. This is kind of our cash breakdown of what I got from the bank in cash. Um, now we, this is what we have already spent this month. And if you'll see, I am kind of doing this a little bit different. I'm not doing our total amount here and then just deducting. I am deducting what is in that fund. So we started out with $400 in that fund and I spent $10. I had $390 left for, to go towards groceries. Miscellaneous, we had $50 originally. I spent $10, have $40 left in the miscellaneous fund. So you look here and then you look here and you see what we have left. So down here, miscellaneous, by the end, I should only be putting $8 stuffing eight dollars in my miscellaneous envelope now um, just because of what we spent over the last few days didn't end up being able to have a chance to make this video prior to getting the chance to go shopping so yeah that's kind of how the cookie crumbled this month yay new year and chaos um <laughs> starting it out with a bang woohoo um and we'll have $137 left in our grocery fund just because we had a big expenditure that we had to do for stocking up. And that's not normal, um, but it was this month. And I'm working on meal planning and stuff, and I'll kind of show you that a little bit too. But we're going to start out with this. So what I have left is we have 100, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 900, 
5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And if the math doesn't equal out exactly, I did have, and I can't even remember, I did have a couple dollars left over in my wallet at the end of the year last year. Hang on one moment. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, yay, that was a special Mary, Mary, that was a special mail courier um, bringing my new medication. If you guys watch my previous videos, I have been trying to get approved with my insurance to try a new medication. Hopefully it will improve things for me. Um, and they were dropping off my first bit of it. So hopefully, and I can't even remember what this amount was now. Um, I know I had 60 here. I believe that was 865, <laughs> 60, 70, 80, 95, 900. I think I'm right. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So I think I have 929. I guess I should count it really quick one more time. Um, or no, let's just not, let's just wing it. So what we're going to do, uh, straight away, I guess I will slide this over here and I still want you guys to be able to see this. And I will post the link for my budget book down below. I have it in the printable form on my Etsy shop, which is posted down below. Um, the book I have in here for my Traveler's Notebook, it's available on Etsy. I have a coffee version, I have a flower version, an Edgar Allan Poe, and a minimalist version. Um, so, we're just going to get these money types sorted out here. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I like feel jittery today. Like... It's been a challenging week, and um, despite it, we've been making progress around the house. I've been managing to check off things on my list. I've been trying to write down a lot more with the planners that I showed you guys in my planner lineup for the year. And I want you guys to be able to see it all, so I guess we're going to do this. Okay. And... Keeping the planners has helped me because I deal with a lot of brain fog and memory issues and it makes it difficult to keep track of everything and stay on point focus. So that being said, um, home maintenance, which will be to the deck. You see each one of these icons is $150. I want to color in one of those icons. So we're going to do, I think I planned on one 100 bill and yep. One 100 and 150. So this will go to home maintenance. Let me grab my binders over here. And I'm just going to stick them directly in the envelopes just because that will work for me. I'm going to put them back here. I do have some money in the front, but I'm just going to leave that and I'm going to put all the money in the back that we add for this challenge because as long as I have all those icons colored in we're good on the money I don't mind if it's over by the time we're done I just really don't want it under but like I said we're just gonna do the best that we can and I'm not gonna worry about perfect coloring okay and then what's the next one food stock up I want to do 150 which each icon is $50 so that's going to be coloring in three. Yay. I think that's the same binder. Maybe. No, it is not. It is my pink binder. Okay. And we already have 121 in here that we finished out the year with. Um... So now we have more, but I'm still only going to color in those icons for that 150 that I just added. 
And we have already put down a reserve for amount. So we've already partially paid for half a pig for later on this year in March. So we've already got a head start on that and I'm very excited about that. Coffee pots, man, I love coffee. I really need to get myself another glass. I've already had a glass, but really, can you have too many cups of coffee? I don't, I don't know that that is in my vocabulary, but um, yeah, I do enjoy tea too. I like to mix my own tea from loose leaf herbs. I have a big shelving unit with a bunch of different herbs in my apothecary, and I really kind of enjoy that. Um, I do a lot of natural holistic stuff too. I'm not against mainstream medical at all. I just, um, my body responds very well to natural stuff quite a bit. It's not complete in my medical stuff, but it does help. So I kind of do some of both in my personal care and it helps me out a lot. You really got to figure out what works best for you. And I use a combination of both herbal and um, mainstream pharmaceutical medicinal so and hopefully the new med that I just got helps I'm really really hoping uh, so vehicle <clears throat> is going to be $40 that I'm going to add we have tabs to pay for eventually we're gonna need tires um, I don't know that we're gonna need tires this year but tires are spendy, so I definitely want to make sure that this amount gets higher than what we think we're going to need this year. How much was I trying to save by the end of the year? Did I? Nope, that one's not in there. Eh. I'm just going to leave that unsnapped right now. And I just wrote these down in pencil just because um, I still have my side hustle income to come in for this week. I'm going to use one section per week. Um, so sometimes it'll have a paycheck from my husband on it and sometimes it'll just be side hustle money. Because um, my, like I said, my husband gets paid every other week with his one job and then once a month with his main job. So medical, we are going to add 40. I know I'm gonna have a copay for an appointment in February, and I don't know what's gonna end up coming from that. So definitely, medical is a crucial one to build up. And yes, see, I was right, I have $10 in it, which is just not gonna cut it with the medications this month. Um, so, and I have these trackers on my Etsy shop in printable form if you want to. Uh, this one shows more colored in than what I actually have in the envelope because I had to spend some, but I really like how it's coloring, so I kind of want to catch it up to there and then just continue. So there she lies because I'm very happy with my coloring there. Sometimes I color pretty. Um, dental, I want 10. And same thing here. I'm just leaving the tracker in there until I get re-caught back up to where I had and continue saving from there. And I can't always color in an emblem anyways. You just add it up to where you can. Um, vision, I'm putting 20. I still have to go to the eye doctor and I know that that's going to be a few hundred dollars at least. And we have 80 in there right now. What did I say I was adding? 20. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 in there now. And I can color more icons there, but I will color them later. I color better off camera, just because I can take my time and I don't have to worry about the speed and how long my video is gonna end up. And that's, that's the hard part. Um, school. Do, 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 do. 25, that would be a 20, and a, oh, that's a 10, Woo! I almost made a mistake, 20 and a 5, and our goal is 
hundred dollars I think I can double check that that's what my goal had been at one time so I put the sticker there because I don't think I'll need more than that ever but I'll show you guys what I kind of did for school so I made well for our goals so I did this top five goals for the year and I can check them off as we complete them I will put this on my Etsy shop I'll try to list it later today it will definitely be listed by this weekend I'll have other planner cards available as well it's in a printable hard copy not a printable it's printed on a really tough paper cardstock with the rounded corners and then I did this top sinking funds and if you want one like this I will post these on there too and just customize it to what you want so this is kind of my goal is to have the home maintenance at 3000 this year we have to replace a deck um, which you could see from that icon check off food stock up fund I want a minimum of to have two thousand dollars contributed to that one which will be spent throughout the year on stocking up meat etc um, vehicle I want to stuff a thousand that's my goal for the year medical I want to stuff a minimum of 500 in there um, hopefully I can keep a consistent amount of that at least in there but you know we'll see we have a lot of unknowns this year and things are a bit crazy so in dental I would also like to have 500 vision 500 school yeah 500 and then new car driver it's really um, my son has is going to be old enough for driver's ed so this is to cover his driver's ed plus whatever he saves for a car we want to be able to match it for him to get his own car at some point in time and we're going to do our best to set aside what we can there i know driver's ed is going to be able to get covered the new car my son is a saver i am really in trouble there that's going to be a big challenge he's already quite ahead of the game and running full steam with this that we have already matched his sisters previous to him and um yeah we've matched our other kids is on their first vehicles and i have one more kid after or him he is the second to the youngest of our kids and he is oh my goodness he's a very good saver so we're in jeopardy he's like man i'm gonna go for a tesla for my first car or i'm gonna go for you know a corvette or this or that the other yeah um he's a hard worker and we're in trouble he doesn't have a job yet um he he kind of does some side jobs here and there but nothing consistent um but he will be hitting that job age we're working at an actual store here soon and then he's just gonna run full steam with it I already know so we stuffed the school now we have to stuff the new car and driver and we are doing 25 in that one and yeah this one is going to seem really puny we're gonna stuff 25 so let's just go ahead and add this boy oh boy Okay, and my kids, we share custody with their dad, and um, he will be paying part of the driver's ed and stuff too. So 20, 40, 60, 85, 86, 87, 88. That's what we have so far. And like I said, that's, I, I probably need a little bit more before the driver's ed hits, and then we're gonna have to start on that car match. <laughs> um, yeah, he's already got multiple hundreds of dollars saved for his car, so very, very in trouble there. Okay, so now that we have all those stuffed, now we can figure out and stuff my wallet. Um, hold on a minute, I just have to grab it. Okay, I'm back. This is my wallet. It is the Moterm Pebbled Olive. I have the, it's in the A7 size, um, in the Versa Lux. And this is the part that, the ring binder part that can slide into the actual leather case and stuff. Now I keep my ID and my debit cards in this part. That way when I'm doing the videos, it's just easy to slide this out and I don't have to worry about pulling things out and putting things back in and stuff for privacy sake. <clears throat> so in here I have this 
card. This one will also be available in my shop. Through self-discipline comes freedom. It's a quote by Aristotle. And my family. So we're going to jump right in here. We need to come up here. And we're going to kind of have to guess around and figure this out. And like I said, this might be a little bit over because I did have a little bit of money left in my wallet at the end of the year. And I didn't even think about like setting that aside. I just kind of crammed it in the envelope with the rest of my money um, earlier and didn't really pay much mind to it. So I guess we'll find out how much I had left over. So I need $8 in my miscellaneous fund. So let's just hope that I have bills that will work. We're going to go eight dollars five six seven eight and let's just jump ahead ah, i can't do this you guys to my miscellaneous envelope okay so that one is now stuffed grocery i have 137 normally i stuff half of the amount every two weeks and i would do a restuffing in the middle of the month but I'm not going to do that this month just because I had that giant expenditure and yeah, um, $137 is what I need. I am going to and $137. Maybe I should just take out that. So that's 110, 130, 5, 6, 7, right? 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 135, 136, 137. Okay, there we go. And hopefully the rest of the bills work out for this as well. <laughs> and we're going to go my grocery ones here. These are ones that I made. I will, I guess I should put some in my shop as well. Um, I just kind of got creative one day and liked how they looked. I hand wrote that. I don't have a way of printing in white um, at this point in time, so I hand write it. For gas, I did have to pay gas. Let's go up to our last gas entry here. We have $272 left in that fund and I might only stuff part of that just because that's a lot of money and normally I do 150 per stuffing and then I'll restuff just so I don't stress out my envelopes so much so let's separate this 50 I can do the math in my head seriously but just because I want to ensure accuracy 122 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 80 100 and 50 this is what i'm going to set aside to restuff um down the road here in this month and then i need 122 in my wallet so 20 40 60 80 100 and 20 and one, two, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 20, one, two. Okay, we got that, yay. So far everything's working out. <laughs> um, What else do we need? We did the miscellaneous, we did the grocery we did the gas i need to stuff for pets and that's fifty dollars so 20 30 40 50 okay so this is working out that's the only thing i needed to stuff for and then this is what the two dollars would have been what was left over in my wallet at the end of the month last month and they would have been left over in the gas fund so i'm just going to put those in my vehicle fund envelope and continue building that so fifty dollars in here in my pets i don't know that i'm gonna have to buy anything for my pets this month at maximum um i might have to get like a nail clipping for one i might do it for both of them 
Um, they both need it, but my one dog, if my hands aren't hurting too bad, he actually falls asleep when I click when I clip his nails. Um, and it's the cutest thing. He just kind of melts into my arms and it's like, oh, it's cuddle time with mom. But my female Frenchie, oh, she's she's just psycho period. And she kind of goes haywire and won't hold still at all. And that's just really tough on my body. So I usually take her to the groomer and she's good for them. But uh, they have a different setup and you know, she's not as comfortable with them as she is with me. So maybe they kind of scare her into, um, oh gosh, I'm totally skipping where I'm trying to go. Um, maybe she just behaves more with them because she's a little bit more nervous with them. I don't know. Um, but that is where we're sitting. Okay. So that's in the vehicle now. And the vehicle, just because I don't have, I'm not keeping a tracker here for it, I think that, oh, uh, let's count the money in there. I think I already counted the money, but I don't even remember what it was. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 25, 26, 27, 28. So 128, we don't have enough to color another vehicle yet because each icon I marked for $50. Maybe I shouldn't have been so aggressive at that, but when I marked this, I was also working a full-time job as well. And we had a little bit more money to work with. So life changes, we're just going to keep that one in there and roll with it. And well, we'll color when we get to the next 50. So that one is done. And while it is stuffed, this money will get set aside for restuffing for fuel only later on in this month. So again, I have the trackers here. Um, these were my, this is this week. So I'm keeping track of what my new debt amounts are after I make my payments and they take effect. But I'm going to kind of cover that up so that you guys can... I can show that to you guys later at the end of this pay period. Um, so here, this was our beginning amounts for all the sinking funds. When I got this paycheck before I contributed to any of them, and then I'll put the ending balance here and the difference, and then we'll kind of assess um, here how we did for that pay period, and then this will go into the next pay period. So I really like this book, super soft. And then for the weeklies here, I'll kind of show you. Ba, 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 ba. So this was last week. I didn't really do too much in the beginning because I, I was just starting out and um, getting things set up towards the end of the month. But I'm doing a kind of a pinkish red dot with my... Um, dot markers and a green one for income and then every time I spend money it's that pink um, red marker to keep track of everything that the money is going to then over here I'm keeping track of people's birthdays and stuff um, what I did that had to do with the pets um, got my car washed that day it was my husband's birthday that day this was our tasks and chores for the week and checked them off as we did them, our regular shopping list, our groceries, and then our meal plans. Um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, each one, we have three kids that live at home. Each kid is assigned a dinner for one day each week that they cook and make the meal for. And then that way that teaches them some life skills. And then they take turns um, washing their dishes and etc. doing other chores around the house. You can see this week... Um, I made muffins yesterday and nummy nuggets. They're like a flat whole wheat bread. I, on my Instagram, which is posted down below, um, I did put the recipes for the nummy nuggets. I can put the recipe, I think I might have put the recipe for the muffins. They were applesauce muffins, but I can't remember for sure. So I will check and if not, I'll post the recipe on there or the link for the recipe. I got it off of Pinterest, love Pinterest. And then I mark when I water the plants and I really need to go through and make a list of each plant that I own and how often I need to water it to 
give them the optimal care. I have to figure out a different whiteout because clearly the ink is smudging on it. I think I should have used my tape whiteout instead of I used the liquid and it didn't work as well. Dang it, maybe I'll have to try the tape over that and rewrite it. Uh, it's supposed to be beef stroganoff um, and had pancakes for breakfast. So that was today. And again, the chores that we're doing throughout the week, got everything on the shopping list. Still have a few more chores to do by the end of the week. I like to do it as a weekly overview because then it seems less overwhelming and I can kind of pace myself if I have a good day. I can check more things off the list and if I have a day I'm struggling, I don't have to feel the pressure because we'll work it out. And then, like last week, if I put a letter next to the name, it means it was assigned to one of the kids or something. Um, so that's kind of how I've been using this. Our meals for the day, for the week. Um, I put the groceries over here that I need to cover them or the just regular ones that we need in the house. Um, somebody was asking me what kind of meals that we eat. So I kind of plan the meals off of what we have in the pantry and then buy just small amounts to get us through. Maybe you guys can see better if I pull it up here. But say at the beginning of the week we had pancakes, we had um, chicken mushroom penne, we had grouse for dinner, squash, and veggies. Um, then the next day we had muffins and fruit. I make a bunch of muffins like I did here and I put them in the freezer and they're quick to pull out and pop in the microwave for during school weeks, work weeks, etc. So it makes a quick easy breakfast or a snack or whatever. Um, then quesadillas, made chili and cornbread, uh, cereal for breakfast, and we have leftovers for lunch. Oftentimes it's just me here or me and my daughter, um, one of my daughters does school online. And so we just kind of eat the leftovers that are in the fridge. It makes a good way to use it. My husband also takes them to work. I, people say leftovers, but I kind of call it meal prep <laughs> um, because it's it's a great way to not waste food. I And you also have less dis dishes to wash. So it's pretty great that way. Um, Spanish rice is what we had last night. Um, had pancakes for breakfast again this morning. It was actually, we had some pancakes left over here. And so I just popped them in a Ziploc bag in the fridge. And me and the kids had them for breakfast this morning before I took them to school. Um, I will have a sandwich for lunch. Uh, my daughter's making beef stroganoff for supper. Tomorrow's cereal for breakfast, then we'll have soup, and we'll have leftovers for dinner tomorrow night because we have leftover Spanish rice, um, enough for another meal. So that, that'll probably be Spanish rice again. We'll see what we have left over from beef snow going off too. I don't know. Um, actually never had it, but we were given some, and so it's like, oh, let's make it. Let's see it out. It sounds good, and I hear really good reviews about it. So um, egg... An egg, it's like an egg McMuffin. I make my own um, homemade sausage patties and put them in the freezer as well for quick, quick meals. So we'll do that for breakfast. Um, on Saturday, grilled cheese for lunch. Do lasagna and I'll make, here you can see, this is like my meal prep for the future. I'm gonna make an extra lasagna and put it in the freezer for a freezer meal. I do that every once in a while. The, um, it just makes it easy that way we have a few meals in the freezer at a time and so a day that I'm not feeling well or that we know we have a lot going on we're not really going to have time to make a great meal from scratch we do that we grab it out and put it in the oven it's, it, it works out pretty great um I'm gonna do sausage and toast on Sunday and sandwich and chips for lunch and then my daughter and her fiance are supposed to be coming that day hopefully it works out my grandbaby has been sick and so hopefully that doesn't, um, hopefully she's better by then and they can still come. But I'm going to make black bean and butternut stew. Uh, we have butternuts from squash from our garden and I do black beans from scratch and that just sounds really yummy. My daughter loves butternut squash. So that is how the week is going. Um, and I hope that can kind of help and inspire you guys if you guys are struggling with staying organized and on task, I know that I definitely do. Um, and this has helped me quite a bit. I will check off more things later on today. And, you know, I'm going to get everything done. Um, 
And if I don't, it's okay. Uh, we'll just get it shifted till next week or um, one of the kids can help me out or my husband will help me out and we'll get it all done. You know, we're, we're all a team here and everybody's got to pitch in. And it's not about a, a list of who did what and how much. It's that we all do what we can. That's the importance of the team. All right, you guys. That is how it's going this day. I'll, I'm going to get this uploaded. It's going to be a little bit later in the day than when I usually post a video. But I just want to get it up because I got to do my side hustle video next. And hopefully have it posted for Friday, what I normally do. Which means I need to go get my side hustle money. <laughs> Alright you guys, I will see you next time. I hope you all are doing well and that your um, startup for this year is really going great or that you're inspired and you know even if things aren't going great right now you have plans and you're optimistic about setting a plan in motion to improve things for the future all right i will talk to you guys all later if you aren't already please follow um click and subscribe to my channel to follow my journey Click the notification bell so you can see whenever I upload a video and follow me on Instagram. I would love to hear your opinions and ways that you guys do things. I'm always looking for ways to improve my methods or looking for ways for things that will work better for us. And I am very happy to help inspire others about what will work better for them in their financial journey as well. And... Even on the chronic illness side, disability side, etc., I don't get disability right now. I am in the process of applying for it. I don't know how that's going to turn out, but, um, you know, we'll find out. I'm here to support you all. All right, you guys. I will see you later. Bye.